Hi, welcome to another video of Yocto tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about an important variable in Yocto known as files extra path variable. It is used with VP append. So if you haven't watched the video on VP append, please check my previous video. So in this video, we are going to cover what is files extra path variable, why it is needed, syntax of using files extra path variable, name convention for resource folder and a simple example. So what is a files extra path variable? The files extra path variable is used in a bb append dot bb append file is used to add modify paths that Yocto Bitbake build system used to search for the files during the build process. This variable is particularly useful when you need to include additional directories or paths where Bitbake should look for files and are not the part of the standard recipe. So if we want to add some files which is not the part of the standard recipe or standard uh, or original base recipe or original recipe and we want to add some files then we need to use this files extra path variable. So let us take a look. So first of all we have here our old bb bbb example recipe. So we know how it works. Now I have in previous video we have seen that we have created a bb append file. In this bb append file we are adding the extra configuration to the recipe. So how this bp append file works? So in bp, so we write a bp uh, the name, the same name as the original recipe name. You see here, but with the extension bb append. Now I want to add a patch. Let us see the patch. The patch is this one. I want to change this tutorial uh, with this. Uh, I want to remove this uh, dot and then at the end I want to add this line printf for a patch successfully. So if you know if you want to know how to create a patch and how to add and implement the patch please check my 10th video in this tutorial the video 10 Yocto patch. Now as you know that we can you we can simply add this patch using src uri as we have seen in our patch video. So I am using this and now let me build the image. So I am building the full image core image full command line. So as you can see that an error has been occurred. An error has been occurred and here we also have a warning that unable to get checksum of this and file could not be found. And here we also have an error. So the system checked for this patch but it didn't find. But as you can see that this patch is already in the path. But why it didn't find? So let me make one more thing. If we have the original recipe, bb recipe, if we, and we want to put our resources, patches, and other configuration files, the syntax is that we create a folder name as uh, same name as recipe, and then we put the recipe inside that folder, and then we create an other folder name as files. This files folder is a default folder, so. If you put any resources, uh, if you put any resource in this file, the system, the Bitbig build system will look into this file that is pointed here. For example, this in bb file, in this the original recipe, we have this patch file and it is inside this files folder. So the Bitbig build system will look for this file into this files folder, but here we don't have any 
files folder in our append. So it is VB example. But even though if we put here instead of VB example, let us rename it and put files. And now if we build it once again. So again we got an error so it didn't make any difference so let me change it to a previous name bbb example yeah bbb example so why do we get an error because the build system does not know where to find this file if we put this file in this default files folder where this bbb recipe is residing then it will make it will not show an error but it does not exist in this default files folder so we need to tell the bitbig build system hey look for the file into this folder so for that this variable comes into game so as you can see that this folder in which I am putting the resources, I named it same as the name of the recipe and VB example. Why do I do that? Because we need to reference this in our path. What do I mean? So to add the extra paths into the system and this tells Pitpick that if you are looking for this file, this is also another path where you can find so the syntax is files with f extra paths then colon then prepend then this variable declaration declaration operation operator colon equal then inverted commas and then we have this dir variable which is also a bit big default variable then slash and then pn so the pn is the package name if you see the package name is pbb examples that's why this folder is named as pbb examples which is same as the recipe names so by convention we use the folder names same as the recipe names so we can easily reference this otherwise if we name it as files now we cannot use this so we need to write files here and it doesn't seem very clean so we put it like this and i will rename it as bbb example so now let us check what is inside this files extra paths variable to check this i will run pitpake minus e pbb example the name of the recipe then I will grab this files extra paths variable. So this is the syntax to grab any variable in the recipe. This head you need to put a first and the equal at the end. So now let us run this. So as you can see that now the path has included bb example append and bb example it means this path into the search list so now if we build the whole recipe we will not get an error because now bitpeak system the build system knows that there is also another path where i can look for the file this variable is not used in bb file but in the bb append file by convention because in VB file it is by default by file. is it the default is files or the name of the recipe like same name as a recipe or we can put files so the build system will look in it so as you can see that here we haven't given any files extra pass variable but in VB append file we need to tell the system to look at a file at this location also 
so our system is being built so as you can see that this time the recipe has been built and the image has been built completely and successfully now let us test the image let me connect it with the beagle bone black so now i have connected the beagle bone black now let us run our program it is pv example so right now you can see that we have our two default uh, variables uh, two default uh, output the print statements that are from our the file the original recipe now this is our appended files uh, from our bb append file this is our the output from the bb append file that we appended the configuration and now the third one this is from the patch that we have implemented so here is the patch that we have implemented and we can also see that the this patch that here was a dot in default and here the dot is removed so this is how the files extra path variable works with the big append file i hope you like the video please like and subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching